Hello friends, welcome back. This is Kuldeep from QA Cubicle. So today we are going to learn how to capture the screenshots in the Selenium. And uh, as the part of today's session, I will like to cover the two things. So first is how we can capture the screenshot for a particular web element. And second, how we can capture the screenshot for a complete web page. Okay, as you know, like it is very important to capture the screenshots because sometimes we need these screenshots as a proof of failure so that we can show these to our development team and they can provide uh, the fix of the failures. Okay, so, so before moving forward, I want to highlight one more thing here. So the thing is, uh, this feature, like to capture the screenshot part of the particular web element, it has been introduced in the Selenium 4.0 version onwards. Okay, so I will show you. I will just simply open this URL. Okay, and uh, need to look for this particular version. What was that? Okay, so you can search for the screen. Okay, yes, screen. Okay, so you can see like the version V. 4.0.0 alpha hyphen 1 and here it is written the element screenshotting now possible so if you are using any previous version of the selenium web driver then this feature will not be available but i assume like most of time we use the latest version of the selenium so by default it will be there okay so now let's proceed with the demo so I have launched this facebook.com here and uh, let's try to capture the screenshot for a web element. Okay. So let me start and let me create one class here. Say like a screen short demo. Select this public static void main from here. Okay, and uh, let me utilize the code to launch the Chrome browser and open any URL in it. So I have used this code here and I will close this out. Right, and instead of Amazon.com, I will provide the URL of Facebook.com. Okay. Okay, so now let's move ahead and say like I want to capture the screenshot for this login button. Okay. So for that what I will do, I will simply right click and uh, select this inspect option. Okay. And uh, you can see like it has the parameter, it has the attribute like name. So I will utilize this name attribute to identify the xpath of this login button. Okay. So for that what I will write, I will write the driver dot find element y dot name. And here we need to put the login. Okay. Once you get the xpath of this login button, we need to store this inside a web element. So I will store it inside a web element. Okay. And let's name, we can give any name here. Okay. So let me give the name as the login button. And after that, we need to import the required package from here. So you can import this web element from org.openqa.selenium. And now to capture this, use this web element login button dot. And uh, as I told you, like in the Selenium latest version, uh, that is beyond the uh, Selenium 4.0, they have provided the capabilities to capture the screenshot for the web element. So they have provided us the method that is known as a get screenshot as so i will use this method and write the output type dot and we need to mention what kind of okay let me correct this one output okay output dot type output type dot okay we need to identify okay we need to specify like what in which format we want the output so I need the output in format of the file. So I will use this file option from here. 
and store the output inside one file variable. So I have created one file variable fs here and I will import this java.io package. Okay. And uh, so actually what happens in this statement, it will capture the screenshot, but uh, it will store the, the screenshot in some sort of virtual memory. So we need to bring that screenshot in our physical machine or you can say like we need to bring that screenshot in, in our system. So for that, we need to use another function of that is file that is file utils dot copy okay copy file and in the copy file you can see like it it requires two parameters so first is file source parameter and another is file destination parameter this file destination file so our source file is this one which we have captured in our previous statement and now we need to provide the location of location in our local system where we want to store this file so for that we can write the file new file and we need to provide the location where we want to store our store the screenshot which we have captured so i have created one folder here that is known that is the snapshot so i will just copy this location after that i pro i after that i need to provide a name so say like i provide the name as the login dot jpg okay so what will happen in this statement so basically it will copy the file which we have captured in this statement to the location uh, that is the c snapshots and with the name of the login dot jpg okay and uh, okay so we can use this add throw declaration so that this error goes now let's try to execute this program and let's see what is the outcome of the same okay so just right click then as java application let's see it has opened the facebook.com okay and now okay so it has captured the screenshot let's see okay so you can see like it has captured the screenshot with the name with the name login okay with the name which we have given here okay so you can click and see like it is the same screenshot of the login button okay this is the same right so this is the way uh, with which we can uh, basically capture the screenshot of the web elements okay so i will name it like screen shot for web element okay uh, so this is the way you can capture the screenshot of the web element now we will see how we can capture the screenshot of the complete web page okay so what i will do i will just copy these statements okay and screenshot for web page okay and let me comment this out because we don't need this as of now okay and okay this is also not required okay so as of now i'm commenting these files okay okay so to capture the screenshot of the complete web page what we need to do we need to type cast a driver uh, in takes screenshot interface okay so how we can write that we need to write the takes type cast our driver here so we need to write in this way okay and we need to capture this inside of one variable okay we can name as ts and uh, there looks some spell mistakes okay so we can simply change it to takes a screenshot okay so this is the correct one and uh, give the same here okay okay now the takes a screenshot interface provides one method that is the same that is the name as the get screenshot as okay so we need to use the same method here and write the output type dot and uh, we need to specify the format in which we want to store the file so i will use the file here as well 
and store it inside a file variable fs equals to okay and uh, now i can remove this one and we can use the same statement which i have used in my previous uh, code here okay so what it will do basically it will take the screenshot of complete page and uh, it will capture it inside the uh, same folder which is mentioned here so it is the c snapshots and i have given the name as the page.jpg okay so we can see like there is one screen capture that its name is the login and now it will capture the another screen its name should be the page okay so let me execute this program again okay so it has opened the facebook.com and okay you can see like it has captured the screenshot of the complete page okay so you can see like it has captured the screenshot of the complete page here so guys, this is the way you can take the screenshot of the complete web page and uh, this is the way you can take the screenshot of just one element okay uh, but still there is one catch in this program so say like what happened if i try to execute this program multiple times so say like i am executing it again so what will happen actually it will simply replace my existing the existing image so if i have captured it with the name of the page so it will be it will be overridden okay to overcome this thing what we need to do we need to use the date class okay so say like new date and date d equals to new date okay so basically what i will do here i will uh, i will basically capture the current date in some specific format and i will append that time stamp to each of these images so that image will not be overwritten okay so let's import the correct package so let's import the date utils okay and now we need to create another object of a simple date class simple date class simple date format okay okay and uh, create one variable just the of and again okay let's import the correct package for this one okay and here we need to ident here we need to mention the uh date for it okay so for that uh, you can refer this url basically this is the url and uh, you can get the details of how we can define the date uh, how we can define the various date format so it has they have provided a very good documentation here okay so what i what i will do basically i will use one format so that is the dd mm y y y y and uh hh ml ss so basically uh, it will capture the current date and the current time in the hour minutes and second format okay after that we need to we need to pass the date inside this stf variable so that it uh, convert the current date to the format which we have specified here okay and uh, after that what we can do we can capture this output inside one variable string variable okay and let's name as a time stamp okay and what we need to do now we need to use this time stamp further okay so for that what we need to do we need to append this in this way okay and we need to add this timestamp for each image okay and i will simply comment this out okay so what will happen now it will add the timestamp with each image so let's try to execute this program again and see what is the output now so let me run a java application okay so facebook is launched here now let's go to the folder okay so you can see like it has captured one image with the name which we have mentioned as the page along with that it has added the time to stamp okay so you can match it with my system time so it is uh you can see like it is 22 may 2021 and it is 015 and this is the you know in the seconds 
and let me try to execute the same program again so now what will happen it will not overwrite the my previous file which is captured here and a new file will be generated with the another timestamp so this is the way we can avoid overriding our images okay guys so i hope uh, you are clear what i have explained in this video so guys that's it for today's video i hope you liked it so thank you for watching please like comment subscribe and share thank you so much